Hello, in this video I'm going to set up a new waypoint system with simple traffic system and I'm going to use the new route connector window under tools simple traffic system route connector window and this will allow us to create connections between waypoints on waypoint routes through the scene view and through this window instead of needing to manually select those routes. So the first thing I'll do is select tools simple traffic system AI traffic controller to add one to the scene and then I'll select AI traffic waypoint route and now I'll spawn some points to this route by alt and left clicking on the road segments next I will take these spawn points and I'll just align them on the z-axis so they're all using the same value I'll then duplicate that route to create some points for the lane right next to it. I'll do that again to create some points for the opposite direction lanes. And I'll reverse the waypoints. I'll duplicate one more time and move those up. I will control alt r to spawn the waypoint route this time. Again, I'll alt and left click to create some points in the scene. I'll go ahead and align these on the z axis again. Move them down so they're a little bit more centered. Duplicate that route and populate the next lane and now we can set up the lane in the opposite direction and I'll duplicate one more time. So now I have eight lanes in an intersection and let me go ahead and add some cars to these lanes. So I'll populate it with the default AI traffic car. I'll just spawn five of them and now we can just press play and we'll see that when the cars reach the end of the route they stop so now typically the next step would be to manually select each of these waypoints and manually assign a connection but with this route connector window we can choose load routes and that will load all of the routes from the scene into the routes to edit array. You could view from the debug selection. At this point, we have some handles in place for each route. So we'll select from and two points. F is for from, T is for two. And we'll click connect routes and that will automatically create the connections for us. So now if we press play, the cars are able to use the newly connected routes. And then when you're done, you can just unload the routes and close the tab. And there you go.